Hello guys, Chandler Mayo here, and I'm going to show you today how to um, set up your developer certificate, your devices, and provisioning profiles for your app. Um, this isn't really Corona SDK specific, and it can work with um, if you're using Xcode 2. Um, either way, um, I hope this will help you out. So to start off, you need to go to um, get rid of this. You need to go to developer.apple.com and if you don't have a developer account already, you need to create one. It costs $99. Um, you need to do all that stuff that's associated with the company. It's a pretty simple process. Um, it'll walk you right through it. Um, depending on whether you're setting up for an individual or a company, it can take um, a longer, shorter time. For me, it took about two and a half, three weeks to set up a company. However, when I did it as an individual, it only took about two days. Um, so. You can always upgrade from an individual to a company um, if you need to get started right away. That's what I would recommend: is starting as an individual, even if you already, even if you want to be a company, and then um, upgrading your account to a company. Um, and during that waiting time, you should be able to have access as an individual. So once you get to developer developer.apple.com, go to the member center, and you need to sign in. And this brings you to this um, Developer Program Resources page. And from here, you need to go to Certificates, Identifiers, and Profiles. And to start off, we need to create a certificate. So to do that, click on Certificates. And then just click on this little plus up in the corner. So um, to start off with, we're just going to, um, if you're using Xcode and you're, you want to be able to test um, versions on your iPhone or your iPad, you can create an app development certificate. Um, I've never really ever used these. I mean, I've, I've played around with them, but I've always just used ad hoc builds to test my apps because it's more like installing on the real device. And I found that certain things work differently when you use the ad hoc certificate and the app store certificate over the app development certificates. So we're going to create an App Store and Ad Hoc certificate. And you need to make sure you have this certificate down at the bottom um, installed. And this is automatically installed by Xcode, but I've removed it just to show you guys how to install it. And to do that, you just click on that link, save it to your downloads or wherever, and just click on it. And it should automatically open Keychain Access, and it should install. So then, at this point, you can click Continue. And you need to create a CSR file. And this is pretty easy. Um, it's Most of the instructions are right here, but I'm going to show you how to do it anyway. So to do this, you need to go to Keychain Access. And you can find this in your Applications Utilities folder. I've already got it opened here. And you need, need to go to Keychain Access up here, Certificate Assistance, and then request a certificate from a certificate Yeah. Request a certificate from a certificate authority. All right, so you need to type in your user email address. This needs to be the address that you um, that you're using for your development account. Then you need to put in the name for the certificate. Um, this is just going to be my name, and then you need to save it to the disk. You don't have to put anything in the email address. Um, box here as long as you're saving it to the disk. Then just hit continue. Save this to your desktop or your downloads or wherever you, any place that you'll remember where it's at. And then just hit save. And then done. And now you need to upload this. So you just click continue. And then choose file. Go to your desktop and select it. And then click on generate. It's that easy. It'll take just a few minutes here to upload and um, generate the file. All right, so now we have our distribution certificate for my company, and you just need to download this, save it, click on the file, and it'll install it automatically for you. And if you open Xcode, and 
go to Organizer, you'll see your developer teams, and you'll see your certificate. And this is it done. All right. So that's how you create your developer certificate. And you're going to need these um, to do just about anything. So next up, we're going to do our devices. So you can register up to 100 devices on your accounts. Um, right now, I have none on there. So I'm going to add a new one. And it's going to be my iPhone. So to start off, just click Add. And um, you can upload your uh, a batch file to upload a whole bunch of devices at once, but um, I've never done that before, so I'm just going to show you how to do one device at a time. Um, if you use um, like test flight, you can that's what you can use this for down here. But I'm just going to type in So I'm just going to put in the name of my iPhone. And to get the UUID, or UDID, sorry, you need to go to Xcode. And then just plug in your iPhone or your iPad or iPod into the computer. And it'll show up on the Devices tab. So just give that a quick second. And then the identifier can be found right here. So to copy that, just um, right-click on the name over here and hit copy device identifier and then paste that right there where you register your device then hit continue all right so just making sure that all looks good because you can only edit the name and then just hit register and then done and if you have more devices, you can just repeat this process over and over, up to 99 times, or up to 100 times total, but now it's only at 99 times. Okay, so if you want to um, actually be able to test your app or publish it to the App Store, you need to create an identifier for it. Um, and then you need to create a provisioning profile. So to start off with, we're just going to create our identifier, because you need that before you can do your provisioning profile. So click on Identifiers, App IDs, and then click on the plus up in the corner. And then you need to put the App ID description. Um, so for this, I'm going to do my countdown app. So it's going to be... Um, and then you can... Enable the services you're going to use. I just leave the standard ones checked. Um, you make sure you check push notifications if you're using push notifications. And you need to create your app ID. And the app ID is just a almost a reverse domain name style type of string. It doesn't have to be that way, but that just tends to be the the best practice. So for me, it's going to be com dot four dot countdown. So it can be anything like this. It can be com dot your name dot the name of the app or it can just be com dot support anything you want to be. Just remember that once you use it you can only use it once for that particular app. So make sure it's something that you're not going to need to use later on. So then just click continue. And then once everything looks good just submit. And your identifier, um, anytime you're using it in Xcode or um, for setting up Game Center in your apps, you don't need this string in front. You just need to put in com dot whatever you have there. So don't put your the beginning part of your identifier here or things just won't work. Um, talking from experience there. All right. So now we have our iOS app IDs, and then you can go to provisioning profiles to create your profile. Um, so to do this, just click on your provisioning profiles, click on the plus up in the top corner, 
And to start off with, I'm going to create an ad hoc distribution, and this is so I can test my app. And then I'm just going to continue. I'm going to select the app ID I want to use, and there's only one, so I don't really have much choices there. Make sure that matches the app that you want to test. Then select the certificate that we created earlier. Then hit continue. Then you need to select the devices that you want to test on. only have one, so I'm just going to select that. And if you add devices to test on, you'll need to regenerate these provisioning profiles. Um, and that can be done by just deleting them and recreating them, or editing them and adding devices that way. So then just click Continue. And then you need to type in the profile name. So, And make sure this is something that you can easily recognize and distinguish from your other profiles. So if you just put profile here or ad hoc here, um, you're never going to know what app ID that is associated with that. So um, things are going to get a little confusing. So make sure you you know, identify what type of profile it is and what app that's for so you can um, save yourself from the guesswork and guessing back and forth and the errors that are associated with that. Once everything looks good, just click generate. We'll just give that a second to uh, create that. All right. So now you need to download and install this. So just save that somewhere. And to install it, just click on it. And it'll automatically install. Um, it'll put it up here in the provisioning profiles and your library. But it'll also automatically put it on your device for you. Now when you're building... Um, your app with Corona SDK, which you can see in my buildings, building app video, or building your app video that I'll post here in the future, um, you'll need to make sure you use this particular certificate, and it needs to be installed on the devices that you're going to add it to as well. All right, so now we're going to create a distribution certificate. So just click Done down here, and once again, go back to the little plus in the corner. Then you need to select App Store instead of Ad Hoc. Select your app ID. Select the certificate. And notice how you didn't need to add your devices now because this is a App Store profile. This is the one when you build your app and your intention is to publish that particular build to the App Store, you need to make sure you use this certificate, and that's the only time you should ever need to use this certificate. And as I said earlier, make sure you put the name of the app in the profile name and what particular type of profile that is. And then you should just be able to click Generate. Give it a second to do that. And then download that just like you did the other one. Click on it. And it'll add it to your provisioning profile library. But it doesn't add it to your device because you can't install it on your device. You can only install a test build to your device using an ad hoc certificate. As long as everything's got the little green checks on them, um, you should be good to go. If you have little red X's, um, then you've got a problem somewhere. Um, for me, what I usually do when I have an issue where something's not, where I'll get like, this is not a valid profile, um, there's no valid profiles installed for this team, the best way to deal with that is to delete everything under your provisioning profiles, remove your devices from Xcode by clicking, right-clicking on the device, hitting remove from organizer, um, after, I mean, before doing that, of course, deleting the provisioning profiles on the device, as well as any applications you've installed using those profiles. And then going to um, Keychain Access, and you can delete your developer certificates by just clicking on those and clicking Delete, and that's under Login, Certificates, and I just delete that. Um, and then do this whole thing again and hope it works. If you're still getting errors, um, a few Google searches goes a long way. So, and... Uh, it's really a application specific issues usually. Um, I've struggled in the past finding answers, but fortunately there's lots of um, 
forums around on the internet that'll help you out. So um, I encourage you to look at those if you have problems. So I appreciate you for watching. I hope this helps you guys out. Um, signing off.